How many of you guys have played in a basketball game? Any level, just a basketball game. Okay, how many of you have shot a three-pointer in a basketball game? Okay, <clears throat> well, there are a lot of people that it have influenced this world, but there's one special person that I'm going to be talking about today, and that is Stephen Curry. And I would say I know my stuff about Stephen Curry because I've probably watched every game of his and every highlights and I follow him on all social media and I've read numerous articles about him and I probably know more about him than he does. Uh, Steph Curry has influenced the United States in a couple big ways. <clears throat> so today I'm going to talk about his faith his basketball career and some of his background. Um, he has many great traits, but I think one of his most important traits is his faith. <clears throat> and um, uh, just for an example, on his Twitter handle, it's the first thing it says is a believer, and then the everything comes after. So it goes believer, and then it goes to his family, and then it's uh, friends, and then basketball careers last. So. He has his priorities straight. And then Curry says his definition of faith is believing in the unseen and knowing that uh, he was put on this earth and has a purpose. And uh, growing up, Steph Curry attended the Central Church of God in Charlotte, North Carolina. And he also went to youth group. And then he grew up in that Christian household but it wasn't until around his eighth grade year that he really started his own faith because he said he was talking to his pastor, Jason, and he was talking about there's a time in your life where you go from living off of your parents' faith and your family's faith and figuring out your own faith. And he said that night is when he decided that he was going to start living off his own faith. <clears throat> he also says that to him, being a Christian is more about the relationship between you and Jesus instead of just following a bunch of uh, religious rules and having to do each and every one of those to get to heaven. He says it's more about you and him. <clears throat> and then Curry also says that um, one of his biggest goals is not only speaking with his words and telling everybody that he's a Christian and just acting like he's this uh, good person, but he wants to speak with his actions and show uh, everybody that he isn't just talking talking and talking that he actually means what he says and then there was one time in his life where he was going through a tough time with ankle injuries and he was talking to his mom and then his mom told him I want you to find a Bible verse that means a lot to you and he decided uh, and he found Philippians 413 which says <clears throat> I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength and that's been his big thing ever since he's went to the league. He has, I can do all things on his shoes. And it says, I can do all things dot, dot, dot. <clears throat> and it's just, he said, that's the verse that got him through the tough time. And it really strengthened his faith. <clears throat> this is all according to the May 30th, 2019 edition of Steph versus the Game Faith, Season 2, Episode 5, directed by Gotham Chopra. So I talked about his faith, but now I want to get into his basketball career a bit more. He started school at Charlotte Christian School, again in North Carolina, that's where he grew up. He was a high school standout, but due to his size and his lack of uh, measurables, he only had a few college offers and he decided to commit to Davidson. <clears throat> he played three years at Davidson before deciding to enter the NBA draft. And then he was selected uh, in the 2009 NBA draft seventh pick. And uh, it just kind of, that's where it's a big influence is he's just a small point guard and he can shoot. So it gives me a lot of um, faith that I can also do what he does. And there's many other people that I know feel the same way. And then <clears throat> again, he struggled with injuries starting off his career and nobody really thought he was going to be able to play at this level. And plus his team was not very good at all, so that didn't help. But 
in the year 2015, he had a breakout year and they won the NBA championship. And then he just had all this praise and stuff that he was finally back. But then 2016, it was just a great year, 73 and nine regular season record. And then they get to the finals and they blew a 3-1 lead to the Cleveland Cavaliers. So then after that, everybody doubted him, uh, Curry again, and just, they were like, he's not that good and he can't lead a team and stuff like that. But even after blowing that 3-1 lead, he signed a $200 million contract in the offseason. And then that's the year where he started to get everybody's <clears throat> doubts away. He won back-to-back -back NBA championships in 2017-2018. And then uh, 2019 came. And going into the season, everybody was expecting a three-peat. Uh, everybody praised him and the Warriors, but then they lost to the Raptors in six games. And then all the doubters returned and said that Curry isn't going to be able to win an MVP or another championship. And this is according to the February 1st, 2019 edition of Stephen Curry, the Stup Superstar, written by Brian Etheridge. So now that you know about more about his basketball career, let's talk about his, folk, uh, his background. Um, his real name is actually Wardell Stephen Curry, but everybody calls him Stephen Curry now because Wardell is quite a mouthful. He was born on March 14, 1988 in Akron, Ohio. Fun fact, him and LeBron James were born in the same hospital, just different years. And his father, Del Curry, was also an NBA player, and that's where most of the shooting comes from is his father. And then his mother, Sonia Curry, was also D1 volleyball, so his parents were both very athletic and that contributed a lot to him being the NBA superstar he is now. He also has a younger brother named Seth, and uh, he went to Duke University, and just this last year, uh, Steph played Seth in the, the playoffs, and his parents were uh, wearing one side Curry and one side Seth, so that was pretty cool. And then he's also got one more sibling, and it's his, his sister, Seidel Curry, who is also playing D1 volleyball for Elon. And then he has a wife named Ayesha, and they were married July 30th, 2011. And they have three kids, Riley, Ryan, and Cannon. And then I got all this from the April 11th, 2017 book, uh, Golden, The Miraculous Rise of Stephen Curry by Marcus Thompson. <coughs> so in those ways, um, Steph Curry has influenced a bunch of people. I talked about how he has influenced many people with his faith through his basketball career, and I talked a little bit about his background. So earlier I asked you if you've ever shot a three or played in a game. Well, Steph Curry has made 2,492 career three-pointers in his NBA career. So that's that.